Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And ma'am, so now let's go to the our main conversation, ma'am. So, uh, why did you choose UBC, ma'am? Uh, to be frankly speaking, UBC was not my first choice. Huh. Uh, after my uh, my CT ranking was not that great as well. Yes, ma'am. I was a below average student in, uh, throughout my journey. Yes, ma'am. And uh, so uh, UBC happened to be my third uh, round of selection. Okay. Uh, why did I choose UBC is because uh, one, to be frankly speaking, of his uh, low fee structure, uh-huh. and um, and I wanted to pursue only civil engineering just because it has ample opportunities in government uh-huh. sector. Uh-huh. Yes. So since uh, I had a plans to step into government sector, I just chose civil engineering, and uh, there is no other college better to do civil engineering that other than. Yes. But uh, even though it was not my first choice, uh, as the time passes and you get to know the importance of this college, I think uh, yes. this is a dream college and when you step out of it, it has so much of uh, recognition and so much of value that adds to your profile. I yes. think uh, this college is indeed a historical place. Yes. So uh, let's go back to that uh, very first day where, uh, when you came to the college, ma'am. So, what was your expectations about UBC and how it really was? <laughs> My expectation was really, really huge. I thought, it, I mean, when you step, when I stepped into it, I thought it is a heritage college which has hundred years of background, and I had so much of expectations as such. Yes, ma'am. But when I entered into it. Um, uh, when I entered my classroom, the facilities, everything was not up to the mark. Uh, but uh, initially, it was very, uh, uh, I mean, not not as my, not not an unexpected line. But uh, yes, r- gradually, uh, the importance of the college, where uh, you as an individual will develop yourself. Yes, it gives you an opportunity for you to develop your yes. uh, skill sets. On your own, you tend to do everything on your own. You try to adjust to the society. There are different backgrounds of students that comes into uh, that college. Uh, it comes 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 into your college, and you set to be a part of uh, so much of diversity around you, and you adapt yourself to it. You adapt, you adapt to your uh, surroundings. You adapt to the college uh, uh, facilities, and you build yourself. Right. And I think uh, compared to other college, this is one thing where. There is an ample op- uh, amount of opportunities where you can step into any field. There is a time that is provided for that. I think um, UVC was not on expected lines, but it was uh, more than expected lines on, uh, at the end of the journey. Yes. So, did you want to get into civil department, ma'am, or you just got placed here? Like? No, I wanted to get into civil department, as I said, because. Um, my, uh, I mean, it was my father's choice that I had uh-huh. to step into government sector. Okay. And uh, when it comes to government sector, there are an ample amount of okay. opportunities, be it uh, assistant engineers, uh, AWE was planning uh, engineers, uh, etc. Yeah. Et so I think uh, that is why I chose uh, civil engineers. Yes, ma'am. So what all clubs were you part uh, when you were studying in UVC? Uh, at my time, there was this. Um, Fiesta, I mean major fest, Fiesta and Milagro. Yes, ma'am. And uh, I was uh, chosen as a Fiesta coordinator in my third year. Oh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I was also a part of this UVC Alumni as- Association. Uh-huh. I was given scholarship uh, for all four years. Okay. And I have a huge debt towards them as well. They yes, have played ma'am. a huge uh, supporting role uh, throughout my engineering days. Yes, ma'am. And I'm uh, very much sure that I'll be part of that as well in the future days. Uh, yes, ma'am. And uh, can you say a th- uh, few things about your experience while handling Fiesta or Milagro? Yeah, I mean, uh, before becoming a Fiesta coordinator, I mean, for becoming a Fiesta coordinator is it's itself a very good, very uh, huge challenge because uh, there are so many politics that happens in your uh-huh. department and um, uh, there yes, are the huge uh, different sections of groups that uh, com- comes up and the elections happen as if the uh-huh. whole uh, voting elections happen <laughs> yes, and um, yeah it, uh, the election itself was a huge uh, marathon mm-hmm. exercise mm-hmm. during then and um, uh, uh, fortunately I was chosen as it and when, when it comes to the experience of Fiesta coordinator that's when uh, my personality uh, has uh, grown and uh, there was different challenges that I have to face yes. because uh, you have to uh, first first of all you have to convince the other people yes, in order to participate and I think uh, there were few sections in our uh, badge who, who, who 
revolting against whatever was being done oh. and handling all those things and uh, making a uh, fest uh, was really challenging and i think uh, it was it was the help of all my friends uh, as yeah. well as my uh, uh, department people yes, uh, that it was a pretty much success yes ma'am that sounds really fun ma'am mm -hmm. and uh, one more question about the department ma'am since uh, civil department is located in gyanbarthi campus ma'am uh, did you ever feel that you were like uh, out of the college or something like that ma'am yeah i mean first year we were all together ha, and ha, yes, i didn't feel we uh, i didn't personally feel like there were any department wise because ha. we were close to isc department uh, we had friends in mechanical department as well hmm. but uh, when suddenly when we are thrown out of this campus for uh, Three years and it was uh, and there are only uh, civil and architecture departments in Gyan Bharati and architecture department a few classes uh, mm -hmm. so they were hardly available to us huh. so uh, it was completely isolated as such but uh, whenever this uh, clubs and um, uh, fest happen, fest happen uh, I think that was a re reuniting stage status huh. as well. Yes. Ma'am, how did you manage your academics, ma'am? Like we hear that civil is that most toughest one. So, how did you manage that, ma'am? Uh, ma'am, mo moving on, ma'am. Uh, how did you spend your time, like free time? Uh, in UBC, we get to have uh, free time more, ma'am. So, how did you spend it? What was your hobby when you were in college, ma'am? I was, uh, I mean, I had so much of free time because I hardly used to attend colleges, <laughs> yes, and. Um, I used to participate in everything, be it in my first year, I used to participate in all uh, uh, mixed cricket, uh, uh, we had badminton, we had table tennis, uh, yes, we had kerem as well. And when I went to the Grand Bhatik campus also, we had all the courts around us. We had a football court, we had basketball court, uh -huh. we, all we also had this uh, table tennis kerem uh, uh, court as yes, well, yes, uh, next to physics department. And uh, I was a pretty much sports person. Um, and I had a good company uh, around me as well, uh, yes. including my uh, batch, I mean, uh, colleague, colleagues yes. who were um, into the sports section. So I was majorly involved in it. Huh. Whenever we get to, we, we get a free time, we used to jump into the ground and we used to just play around. Yes. So uh, now we have a game, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll have this uh, rapid fire sec uh, question round, ma'am. So make sure you answer them as fast as possible ma'am so that we get the real answers ma'am sure, sure. okay. what was the what was your favorite uh, hangout spot in this campus and in that campus both in this campus it was a ground there was a ground uh, situated uh, yes, in front of a stage that was uh, uh -huh, there uh -huh. yes, and uh, in dan bharati it was like uh, my uh, table tennis uh, uh, court, court next to physics department yes ma'am so what was that one fest uh, you waited most? I think uh, Fiesta. Fiesta, okay. Ma'am, describe yourself in five words. Compassionate, lazy. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, uh, courageous, of course. And sportive. Uh, sportive. Yes, ma'am. It is really hard to describe <laughs> yourself, but one more thing is uh, maybe adaptive. The, it was very uh, nice round ma'am so uh, we'll come to the questionnaire again ma'am uh, did you sit for the placements ma'am and how was your experience in the placement thing yeah i mean uh, when i got into uec uh, my uh, i mean my parent goal was to get into civil uh, government sector government but sector. i haven't prepared my mind for that so my whole concentration was to uh, be placed, uh, be in, some placed in some company and get into the private sector. Yes, so uh, after my third year, I uh, was solo heartedly prepared for placements, yes, and uh, unfortunately, I had a backlog. Uh -huh. So due to that, uh, I I was rejected by some of the companies. I yes, couldn't uh, enter uh, into the first stage as well. So whatever opportunities I had, okay, starting of the fourth year, I guess. Seven Sem, uh, there, uh, the first company which I attended was this uh, mass company we, we had. Yes, uh, that is Cognizant, I guess. And I uh, literally had uh, no hopes on it because uh, I'm literally bad in uh, computer languages. I had no basic knowledge as such. Even now, I don't have basic knowledge on any computer stuff. 
and uh, but i wanted to test myself like i i wanted to face a heat of a interview yes. as well yes. and yes. get prepared for myself for the better opportunities that i might get in the future days yes. so i just gave that interview and i was i was selected and uh, that the experience was very tragic as well but uh, yeah i got selected to that mass company yes. and later uh, i attended couple of companies maybe uh, like uh, brigade i guess and uh, yes. one more was uh, some other company which i couldn't recall, which i can't recollect now uh, in brigade company also i had this dream uh, there's a building in front of orion mall yes, uh, uh-huh. whenever i used to visit that i was aiming for okay i one day i should just sit here as at the top of the company and uh, watch the bangalore as such yes, so i i had uh, brigade company on my mind so i prepared it i went to the last stage of the in uh, interview uh, stage yes, and uh, unfortunately due to like i was uh, due to my lack of technical uh, expertise i was rejected uh, yeah, at that stage yes, and that was very disheartening for me because that was the only opportunity left uh, in uh, yes, when it comes to core field so after the placements uh, i mean that was a placement section where i got placed in uh, one of the mass yes. company uh that day you were rejected in mm. brigade ma'am today mm. you almost have control in the uh, mm. place where a brigade lies ma'am. so yeah. how do you feel about it now ma'am yeah i mean uh, now when i go to this uh, i mean i'm uh, literally working in uh, denali yes, uh, so i have to travel through that uh, particular brigade. road yes. as well and uh, i had a dream of getting into this lnt company as well ha, ha. Uh, the lnt company also comes by it, uh, way, through yes. the way and uh, now we i mean had i not been rejected on that day i wouldn't have uh, sat in this place yes uh, maybe uh, god has had other plans for me yes, and uh, if i had been selected in that interview maybe i would have stepped into private sector uh, maybe uh, things went on yes and uh, you even said that you had a back problem so mm-hmm. uh, engineers have this experience wherein throughout their life uh, they wouldn't have failed in any subject ma'am and suddenly they would uh like yeah. they they will be failed in a subject or something yeah. how was your experience then yeah. i mean uh, for me i thought like backlogs are part and parcel of uh, engineering yes. i mean uh, it is uh, it is not a mandatory thing as well the whole engineering experiences uh, of four years where you are involved in so many other things where at times you lose your track uh, uh-huh. towards studies and backlogs are necessary for you to like bring yourself back in the track and uh, keep yourself uh, uh, in the in the right in the right way yes. so i think uh, you have to take if you have a backlog you have to take it in a positive way and move it on but i suggest nobody should have a backlog yes. uh like we'll ask few funny things yeah. also ma'am three mischievous things you have done as a t- teenager ma'am as a teenager um, three mischievous things that i have done during my college days is like uh, uh, i mean bunking class is one thing which is very common <laughs> during my days and uh, yeah uh, one such incident which i uh, want to uh, narrate is that uh, during my uh, uh, survey uh, on field survey project that was being held in kati subramanya yes ma'am Uh, we were working on this restoration tank project ha, ha, where see. we were supposed to uh, be on the field and work hmm. but uh, we actually went on a trip on that day <laughs> and we were actually caught and uh, that is one thing uh, one mischievous thing that uh, in my nice mind and yeah uh, the another mischievous <laughs> thing which i did, uh, did which we did as a group of people is uh, since we had no uh, knowledge on this computer stuff they were forcing uh-huh. us to do this autocad drawings as such in uh, uh-huh. the last uh, uh, fourth fourth uh, year, fourth year of such so we used to like uh, uh, turn the electricity supply as such during those periods uh-huh. and, uh, those were the things we used to do yes ma'am uh, where do you want to see uvc in the next 5 years uh, i want to see uvc in a better platform in uh, everyone has to speak about it it yes, has it has huge uh, Uh, identification uh, nowadays yes, uh, but it has to go into a, a higher level be it national level and international level yes, uh, foreign opportunities should be provided more skills should can be developed every 
every person who studies in UVC has to has to get placed mm-hmm. and uh, the college should hold uh, held them responsible mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. for the placements, placements as such placements. because we get into UVC for placements I think mm-hmm. everybody should get uh, get that uh, yes, opportunity. Uh, opportunity and uh, various fields I mean what I observed is like uh, when I stepped into this field every other college has this uh, civil service club as well Okay, where they together come together and prepare, uh, mm-hmm. uh, they create, create their own group, uh, peer group and they prepare for it. Yes. I think uh, that can be uh, inculcated yes. in our UEC as well. Uh, such clubs can come up, various and not not just civil service, but various placement clubs, preparation where they can come together, uh, share their knowledge and uh, build uh, themselves. I yes. think those things can be done and uh, take UEC forward to a better uh, position thank you for ans- answering all the uh, questions with so much patience ma'am uh, if you want to mention anyone and thank them you can do now um, i mean uh, there are a huge list of people who i, I want to thank you we see yes, firstly i would like firstly i would like to thank uh, my first principal who was venu gopal sir yes, he was a per- first person who who gave the insights about the upsc journey yes, he has narrated so many times that I did, uh, that his journey is still in my mind, how he changed his optionals, etc. Yes, uh, secondly, all my professors from civil department was very supportive in my journey. They always told me to actually uh, enlarge my potentials, uh, not just stick to one thing. They just told yes, me to diversify my potentials in a better way. They have encouraged me, be it uh, Kesha Moti sir or uh, Gangada sir or uh, Vishwanath sir, mm-hmm. or uh, I mean, there are many. I mean, I, yes, uh, Amarnath sir as well. Uh, they, they were like huge uh, gems for me to all throughout my journey. And uh, and even I would like to thank all my lab attenders who are very who are very uh, helpful in, the, yes, in, in all my lab <laughs> internals every every uh, uh, every stages of it. Yes, and uh, whoever like including my batchmates. Yes, uh, the whole batch of mine, uh, the 2015 batch, uh, was really uh, challenging, explore, exploring, and uh, all of them are in touch with me, and I think the journey continues throughout. Uh, ma'am, this is a painting done by the Pratibimba team of our college, ma'am. Thank you, the uh, whole Adamya team. It has been a wonderful experience for me where I can uh, recollect all my memories that I have dealt in this college. And uh, it is uh, really wonderful to see such a club. Thank you for the opportunity given. And uh, I think uh, if there is any service that uh, uh, you guys expect me to be part of it, I, I am uh, ready to give it back to my UEC in any other way. Uh, if you want me to be a part of this civil service journey as such also, I am uh, completely available and um, thank you for the opportunity given. Thank you. Thank you.